Before we get started, we just want to say thank you to Think Tank for sending us the brand new Rotation 180 backpack for review. As usual, we're not paid to say anything besides our own opinions, and Think Tank does not get to see this video before it is published. We just want to say thank you, and we are very excited to review this new backpack. Let's get straight to the point. The Think Tank Rotation backpack is very easy to use. The rotating motion of the belt pack is so simple that you pretty much don't have to look to unlock or to lock it, and that is very important if you are trying to capture the moment on an adventure. When you have the backpack set up properly, all you need to do is to pull down the tab to unlock the clip, pull the super sturdy strap, flip open the magnetic cover, then you will have full access to your gear. To put your camera gear away, simply do the opposite, and I was blown away by how easy it is to lock the clip. The magnet on the clip is so strong that you just need to put the pieces close to each other and it will just snap into place with a very satisfying sound. That is also very important so you know your gear is now securely locked. I didn't have to do any adjustments and the rotating motion is already perfectly smooth. If you feel like the belt pack is a little sticky, you have the ability to adjust the opening on the side to make the rotation easier anytime. Also, it feels very comfortable while having the belt pack in front of you. The design of the entire setup is very well balanced and you can even use the belt pack as an armrest when you are using your camera. Trust me, the camera compartment is very sturdy, so it will stay in shape even when you are using it as an armrest. One very cool and convenient design of the belt pack is the magnetic cover. They basically have a lot of magnets around the entire rim of the cover and they are very strong. It will close the pack very securely without using the zippers. But of course, if you want extra security or if you are putting away your gear for a while, use the zippers. The magnetic cover is mainly for you when you're in photo taking mode so you can get quick access to all your gear without having to fiddle with the zippers. Also, the cover opens towards the front. Everything just makes sense. Talking about zippers, just like any other Think Tank camera bags, the zippers are weather protected and they are very sturdy. The usual high quality stuff, which is nice. Inside the belt pack, it is very well padded with two dividers that you can use to customize the layout with. As I said before, it is a very sturdy compartment that the cube stays in shape very well. That is a very important feature because this is where you store your camera gear. You also have a pocket with zippers inside and outside of the lid and a compartment for a tablet. You get a small pocket on the belt pack where you can put things like your keys in there. Trust me, you will never run out of pockets to store your gear with the rotation backpack. Yes, you will have the ability to completely remove the belt pack if you want to. Just unclip the belt, swing the belt pack out, unclip the little security strap, which is a very nice touch, then you will be able to use the backpack without the belt pack. It might just feel kind of funny because the backpack is now empty at the bottom, but not a big deal. You can still use it to store things like, let's say, a jacket. I just noticed that you can use the belt pack by itself as well, which is very cool. So one price, two bags. By the way, the belt pack we have is 10 liter. If you get the 34 liter backpack, you get the 8.5 liter belt pack and 6 liter for the 22 liter backpack. That's a lot above the belt pack because it is the main feature that allows you to get access to your camera gear without putting the whole backpack down. It is a lot quicker and more convenient. And let's be honest, sometimes you just don't want to put your backpack down to get your gear. Let's talk about the other parts of the rotation backpack. We got the 50 liter plus version, which is the biggest of the three options. And they are 22, 34, and 50 liter plus. The reason why we got the 50 liter plus version is because you can fit a 16 inch laptop in the front padded laptop compartment. The main storage space of the rotation backpack is very flexible, especially on this one. The reason why it is called 50 liter plus is because you can actually expand the volume by using the adjustable straps that are attached to the top cover. So you can actually fit about 56 liter of stuff, including camera gear in this version, which is amazing for adventure. The 50 liter plus version is also the only one that has a rear access to the main compartment. You can purchase a gear insert called Stash Master Pro to store even more camera gear using the main compartment. We'll talk about that later. If you want to know more about the differences between all the sizes, Think Tank's website has a very nice chart that lays out every features of each size option. Definitely go check it out. There's a pocket with zippers on both the inside and outside of the top cover. And the top cover is completely removable as well. 
Inside the main compartment, there is a strap that you can use to secure the things inside the bag. And you have a zipper pocket that is also accessible through the back. At the front of the rotation backpack, you have an expandable pocket with adjustable clips and you have a padded compartment for a laptop up to 16 inch or a 2.5 liter water bladder. We don't have a water bladder, but we have a 16 inch MacBook Pro. That's why we got the 50 liter plus version. Outside the front compartment, you have two rows of daisy chains to attach more camera or hiking gear. You also have a hidden tripod pocket at the bottom if you want to attach your tripod at the front. If you want to carry your tripod on the side, you can still do it with the side pocket and the adjustable strap at the top. There is also a super deep pocket on the side that goes all the way to the bottom of the backpack that allows you to store anything or another water bladder for up to 3 liter. That's a lot of water. Always drink well. Think Tank included an instruction manual to show you how to route the hydration tube through those two water bladder pockets. This backpack is definitely made for adventure. Also, also on the side, besides using it for the tripod, the elastic side pocket allows you to store a regular size water bottle. This is awesome because I still don't understand why some backpacks don't have this side water bottle pocket. One very nice feature that the rotation backpack has that it's always very underrated is how well it stands up when you put the backpack down. Think Tank uses a very strong material at the bottom of the rotation backpack to make it stays up very nicely. This is what I always look for in a backpack. Let's talk about how comfortable it is wearing the rotation backpack. The straps are very comfortable with nice and thick padding. Of course, everything is adjustable including the torso height and it comes with three levels. I'm very tiny and I didn't have to adjust anything when I first put the backpack on. Once all the straps are adjusted properly and all the clips are attached, it feels like the backpack is part of me. And this is very important, especially when you are carrying the backpack during an adventure all day long. The bag itself also feels very light, especially when you consider all the compartments and features it has. I can totally imagine myself wearing it for a long time without any problems. The only thing I wish they can improve on is the distance between the two main straps. They are very close to each other. As I said, I'm very tiny and I have tiny neck but the straps are still touching and rubbing my neck easily. Other than that, everything feels very comfortable. The back of the rotation backpack is also very well padded and very breathable. Again, very nicely done by Think Tank. That's pretty much about the rotation backpack. Let's talk about some of the accessories that you can purchase separately. Think Tank was so kind to send us both the rain cover and the Stash Master Pro for the 50 liter plus version. When you get the rain cover, it comes with a big one for the backpack and a small one for the belt pack. The backpack rain cover is very well designed that you can still get access to the rotation belt pack when the rain cover is on, which is very impressive. The small rain cover is for the belt pack just in case if you want extra layer of protection or if you are using the belt pack alone. If you have more gear than you can fit into the belt pack, then you should definitely consider getting the Stash Master top load for the 34 liter backpack and the Stash Master Pro for the 50 liter plus backpack. They are camera gear cubes that you can use inside the main compartment of the backpack. They use the same design and material for the Stash Master cubes as the rotation backpacks. So you get the same top notch durability and protection. For the Stash Master Pro, you get both top and rear access to your gear because of the rear access of the 50 liter plus backpack. And you also get tons, I mean tons of dividers to really organize your gear, which is awesome. To use the Stash Master Pro, you can simply just put the cube inside the main compartment or you can remove the foam from the top and back panel to have quick access to your gear from the openings of the backpack. That's it. Those are my thoughts on the 2021 Think Tank Rotation Backpack. This is a very well designed and thought out backpack that makes taking pictures or videos of the moment so much easier than any other backpacks on the market. Even when some backpacks have quick access to your camera on the side, I still think the rotation concept is a lot better. If you're looking for an adventure camera backpack, I don't think you need to look anywhere else. If you want to use the rotation backpack for a casual street photography, you can still get the smaller versions and they will work just as well. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. For the Stash Master, Master? Stash Master.